Hello, my name is Jessica and welcome to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm talking about how I quit social media. It was a big decision for me. And if you're a younger-ish person, like I'm 32, so I still think I'm young, <laughs> you really rely on it daily, unfortunately. Like at least I had relied on it daily um, for human connection. Um, when you're living in a pandemic, you don't see people very often. I guess it depends where in the world you live and the restrictions and everything. But I was starting to feel really lonely. I, I shared about my postpartum depression and anxiety. Um, but I started to realize like, you know, you go through those moments where you're on your phone and you leave it not feeling better about yourself. You actually leave like being on your phone feeling worse about yourself because you compare your life um, that you're not good enough, that your life isn't good enough, like what's going on in your life isn't good enough. And you think someone's doing better than you because of what they choose to share. And I know that we all know that Instagram and Facebook and those kind of things are people's highlight reels. And I knew that I would talk about it to people sometimes like it's a highlight reel, like it's not real life, but that doesn't matter because Instagram pages are curated now to just look absolutely perfect that the color scheme matches and you care about how many likes, even if they take off that whole light counter thing, you can still see how many likes you get. You scroll through it. It lets you know for yourself, maybe other people can't see it really, but it lets you know for yourself. It's just like, and you see the number of followers and especially we live in a world right now that you want more followers. It's just insane to me. And then Facebook, I have a lot of I had a lot of family and friends on there. I considered deleting people off of it, you know, who just like I never talked to and whatever, but I don't know how much I shared in my other footage. Um, I guess I'll insert it here, the like deletion process and my thoughts, and then we'll come back and talk more. So if the quality changes in and out, it's because I'm using my iPad and my phone, but so um, I, went through my Facebook, saved all my profile pictures, which they're all me. So that's like what I want is pictures of myself, obviously. But then I went back to look at all my albums, like of memories. And when I lived in Australia twice and, um, you know, coming back to Canada and all these like different memories. And I know I can choose to look at it like, okay, those were great memories and just think of them as great memories and just like a good time in my life and not think about the negative. And I'm not trying to be negative, but the reason I'm getting off social media is because of comparing my life to other people's lives, just feeling inadequate, uh, just remembering the past, like the bad things about the past that I don't like. Um, and just makes me feel like crap when I should be just really happy with my life and how it is right now. And it just made me feel like more like garbage. So I just chose a few select ones from albums and it's going to be maybe crappy that I won't have every picture, but it's not like I look at them all the time, you know, like the ones from going to Mexico and all that kind of stuff. They're just like, photos, you know, they're just memories and they can be in my brain too. I don't have to have them all, but yeah. So I decided not to go through it all and I'm just going to delete the app. Um, once I figure out some stuff, because I don't know if I have to delete stuff like of groups I was a part of, or if that just goes away. So I need to figure that out first. And now I'm going through my Instagram. These are like really, really old photos. This is my private Instagram that used to be public and I'm just going to save a bunch of photos. I won't have dates, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to save all these photos now. Okay. So like I've been trying to say, my little speedy in the background here needs me. So I have yet to delete my Facebook. And the reason being is that I'm nervous to do it. It doesn't mean I don't want to do it because it's like a little bit of what I was saying earlier is the graduation goggles, you know? And I don't know. There's just like a massive part of me that thinks, well, I guess, yeah, the main part is that deleting it, I'll lose connection with people. But when I actually evaluate and I really think, I'm like, okay, I will not lose connection with those who I have their phone number, they have my number, and that means there was no connection to begin with anyways, right? And I mean, maybe they watch me, I have no idea. Like, I think people only watch my YouTube who I've posted on like, posted on my Facebook or I posted on my Instagram about a video that I like released you know I don't want anyone to be offended 
But then why do I care so much? This is exactly why I need to not have social media because I care too much what people think about me and it's like people who don't give two shits anyways, right? And people are busy with their own lives, you know? And I mean, I've reached out to people and like they haven't got back to me or whatever and life is busy. I do the same to other people too. But I don't know what it is about this in particular. Having my, since having my son. But I just don't have time for like fake bullshit and people who act like they care about you and they don't. Like I can think of someone who in particular who I reach out to like all the time and this person I don't think has ever called me, called to talk to my son other than like when I gave birth to him. It's been six months and this person has not ever like just called me and said, oh, I want to see him, you know? And that just, that bums me out, man. So hard. So yeah, social media is fake. Because people follow you and then like your posts, I think they, maybe they think that they're like engaged in your life, but they aren't, you know? And I know I could be the same to them, but like I have been at their point that they are in their life, at the point that I'm in my life right now, I was there for people and like cared about them, you know, but not happening to me. And that's totally cool. I mean, it's not cool. <laughs> it fucking sucks. But um, yeah, so that's why I'm sticking with my YouTube channel because it's the thing that makes me feel the best. Like when I'm editing videos, I feel so good about what I'm creating, even if like only a few people watch it. I just, I'm really like proud of myself for doing it. Yeah, I just, I'm done with everything else. So, I mean, it is, it is what it is. So I just need to delete it. I saved a ton of pictures and videos. Maybe not videos, what am I saying? I saved a bunch of pictures. And so that's the most important thing, right? Is that I have some pictures, some memories. Cause I kept thinking about like, oh, when my kids grow up, and they're like, I want to see pictures of, you know, when you were in Australia and stuff. And even though I don't feel connected to that time of my life anymore, I know that they'll want to see it. They'll want to see pictures of me hanging out with people and, you know, because, like, I would have loved to have seen pictures of my mom like that. So, yeah, I saved what I could, what I thought meant the most. Didn't go through, like, every little thing with a fine-tooth comb. Deleted what I could from Facebook groups that was my son's face, just in case, you know. And, uh, yeah, so <laughs> I'm going to delete it here in a second and just say goodbye. And then I will update, you know, what, how's my life been? Did anyone notice? Like I let one person know and I, this one Facebook group too, that I really liked for my like due date, um, month. Okay. Gotta go. Okay. I did it says your account is scheduled for permanent deletion I delete my account and I actually don't feel that emotional right now I felt emotional before doing it which is odd and I don't right now so check back in to see how I feel later so yeah I was really battling on how to delete things how to save things should I do that request where they send you all your information. So what they'll do is they will send you all your conversations and all your pictures and everything like that. But honestly, the only way to have a happy life is to look forward with joy and accepting and having goals and loving your life or being not necessarily loving your life, but looking at your life right now and living in the here and now. So going towards the future and the here and now, right? Not the past. So I'm somebody who would look through photos, whether it's my Instagram or my Facebook, and look at that life and be like, what if, you know, what if I was still in that life? What if I was still living in Australia? You know, what if I didn't let my visa expire and I was still there? What if, you know, all this stuff, what if, what if, what if, or that was such a great time. But you only, honestly only remember like the really good times in those moments of your life, but there were obviously bad times as well. And I remember being really lonely the second time I went to Australia in 2012, I think it was. I remember feeling really, really lonely and I didn't really have a lot of friends and I had a different lifestyle than I did the first time I went. And yeah, I don't know. I think you tend to romanticize, at least I do romanticize the past and it's not all what you remember it to be, you know? Um, there's a really good song. I know not everyone likes mainstream 
um, music, but uh, there's a song by Macklemore is uh, called The Good Old Days, and it makes me cry because it says like, what if, I, at least I believe the lyrics talk about like, what if these are the good old days that we're in right now? And because I'm a new mom, I have a six month old son, I'm getting emotional now, so I don't wanna cry. But I know that these will be the days that I think are the good old days when I look back, you know? And I'm really sick of looking at the past. Um, I'm sick of the lack of human connection because social media gives us a fake sense of human connection. You know, if you're not hanging out with people, especially during a pandemic. And I was annoyed at people not talking to me, um, even though sometimes I wouldn't respond to some people. It was just like a plethora of reasons to quit. And I still have days <laughs> that I think about it or I pick up my phone, you know, go to scroll and there's nothing to look at on my phone. So I, I spend less time on my phone now, which is great. And I'm more present. Um, I made sure before, like I would mainly, like 90% of the time I'd go on my phone when my son was sleeping and I wouldn't be on it when he was awake as much unless we were FaceTiming family. But um, now I am, I don't know how many days I'll put on the screen from like as of posting this, how many days I am off social media minus YouTube because YouTube is not um, a place that makes me feel um, shitty about myself. I think about going back. Sometimes I think, okay, it'd be great to have an Instagram account and share what I want to share. Cause I did create like a, I don't know if I share this in my other footage, but um, I did create a public account that I was trying not to share too much of my son on. And I do want to share a little bit of him on YouTube, but it's not the same. And I will never be a mommy vlogger. Um, I don't really agree with that lifestyle. Yeah, just overall, I do feel better. Um, I was really scared about if I would feel more lonely and Honestly, I don't feel more lonely. I felt more lonely being on social media and seeing like family and friends who I don't talk to post about things and I like never talk to them. Or like, you know, when you text somebody and I'm someone who doesn't text back sometimes too, just like busy with my baby. But you know, when you text somebody and then they don't text you back, but you see that they post an Instagram story. Yeah, that, that happened a lot to me and it made me feel like crap, especially when I would call somebody and they wouldn't answer, but then they would post on social media. It's like, okay, cool. And I felt like people didn't really care about me and my son. So uh, yeah, anyways, it was, it was the best decision for me and my mental health. And if you're somebody who's contemplating it and you are struggling with your mental health, um, comparison, living in the past, I would say, give it a go. Because even if you, so people sometimes like, I don't know if it's suspend their account or whatever it's called, but I permanently deleted my account. So it gives you how many days to go back but I don't think I'm gonna go back. I did create like um, a photo stream sharing pictures of, with my husband's family. And that's been really great because they share pictures of their kids and I share a picture of my son or our son. <laughs> and it's great for that kind of connection because then at least I get to post pictures and stuff of him um, to share. But uh, yeah, I feel better. I know it's like not the norm to quit social media, especially as a new mom, first time mom, mom that's not around people like ever, but it was the best thing I did for me and my son. And I feel like I'm able to give him more attention now, even though I gave him so much attention before, I can give him way more attention. And yeah, I feel emotional about it because I'm not connected with people, you know, but yeah, I, if you're contemplating it, I would encourage you to do the same. And then um, there's actually a really amazing YouTuber who, so I watched a ton of videos of people quitting social media and I thought it was great for them, but I didn't feel connected, but there's a girl I just found. Her name is Renee Amberg. I'll link her channel below. She is incredible. She's so encouraging. Um, she motivates me so much. Uh, and I feel like I'm going to cry again, but it's just so great finding content of people that you feel encouraged by. And she also shares struggles, which is awesome and real. And I, I love the balance that she has on her channel. It's not normal in our world. And especially like she is somebody who her job is social media and she quit Instagram. Like that's incredible. Also, uh, I had one person reach out to me, but honestly, like really no one noticed that I quit social media. So it's all in your head that people care about you and these distant people, you know, like I don't care about what someone's eating for lunch or what they're doing today, you know? I care about what's happening in my household and my home and my son and my husband. And uh, yeah, that's all my mental capacity to care about right now being in postpartum. So yes, I hope you found this video um, informative or maybe it's like motivational to you to be like, 
I can be happy. I can be satisfied without social media and know that you'll be okay. It sounds so dramatic, but this is the world we live in now, right? So thank you so much for watching this video and uh, I'll catch you in my next video next week. So bye guys. Have a great day.